Preparation of your feed mixture is very important too and directly impacts final pellet quality. Just as the ingredient quality has an influence, so does the consistency and fineness of the mix itself. A pelletizing machine is not a mill. It is not designed to mill roughage or to break it down to be processed through the holes of a die ring. The pelletizing machine is only designed to compact and bind loose feeds into pellets. Therefore, a rule of thumb is that the raw material should be no larger than the pellet diameter. As a result, roughage needs to be milled with a 6mm sieve in a hammer mill if perfect 6mm diameter pellets are required. That said, this rule of thumb applies for pellets up to 8mm in diameter. Larger pellets require more specific calculations. Only maize can be added to the mixture without milling as the kernels are soft enough for the pelletizing machine to crush finely and maize actually improves throughput. Again though, this only applies for pellets up to 8mm in diameter. Once the roughage has been prepared and you have made a decision about the concentration of starches, the ingredients can be mixed to obtain an even distribution and to prevent the segregation of components. In many cases, only a well-designed mixer will suffice as different ingredients have different weights and tend to easily separate. Moisture can be deceiving when it has just been added to the mixture as there is a discrepancy between surface moisture and the internal moisture content of the mixture itself. The easy and cheap farmer's method to check the moisture content is to take a handful of the mixture and to press it as hard as you can in one hand. When opening your hand, the mixture should have formed into a sausage shape that can still be shaken apart. Mixers that are too dry will not cling together into a sausage shape while mixers that are too moist cannot be shaken apart. The next step in the testing process is to run the sample mixture through the pelletizing machine, gauge the outcome and make any necessary adjustments. A mixture that is too dry produces a lot of dust between pellets in the production process. In very dry mixtures, no pellets will form at all. The first indication that a mixture is too moist is the production of pellets that tend to bend to one side and have a scaled appearance where tiny pockets of steam have escaped in the high pressure production process. In some cases, pellets that are produced with a mixture that is too moist will fail to cool off properly, leading to soft or moldy pellets when stored in bags. When moisture is controlled properly at about 12 to 15 percent, depending on the mixture, the pelletizer will have formed a steam layer that correctly seals off the pellets, giving a smooth and shiny surface appearance. In ideal circumstances, these pellets will have been pressed at about 65 degrees Celsius and will lose about 3 to 4 percent of their moisture in the form of steam once they have cooled off. Most of the issues relating to pelletizing are solved either with the correct milling of roughage or in establishing the correct moisture content prior to commencing the production process. Once the creation of a base mixture is mastered, the pelleting process almost always becomes simple and straightforward.